I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it. A life worth living is a life with meaning. I'm doing what I love till my heart oh. stops beating. I'm feeling this oh. demon. Oh Got a my taste of waste, man. It's in my face. Work a job every day till your dreams fade away. Like a card never changed. Play the game. Big old stranger, guys. Look at that. Look at break. that. Big old girl from Pop. <laughs> you the man with the brick shit, man. I can tell you that. Look at that big one, guys. That's a freaking hog, dude. Get up here. Baby, look at that thing. What's going on guys, Bassin' Up Moffat here coming at you with a new video for this week. In this week's video, um, this one's pretty special. Me and my buddy Ryan went out in the middle of January. Well, towards the end of January actually, it was just the other day ago. But we decided to do a little bit of bass fishing on the creek. And it was really, really slow this time. Um, didn't go down there and tear them up like we usually do. Actually had to work for it a good bit this time. and. I'm gonna highlight what we did that day in this video and show you all the footage from that day. We'll have to apologize a little bit with it being so cold that day. It was below 20. So with it being that cold that day, I had issues with the batteries dying on the cameras a little too fast and not noticing when they were dying. And not to mention, they just shut off on me a couple of times for no reason too. So I have to say sorry for that. One of the big fish in here, we did cut off half the footage for it because camera was all for it but either way let's get into this and show you guys what we were doing um first i'm going to go over my little setups i have here a 611 medium fast action enigma titanium series phenom spinning rod with a 2500 series sahara reel and then this is one of the little ned rigs that i was using this is a z-man finesse trd in green pumpkin orange color i have that on one of the texas rigged heads because we're trying to get it down in a bunch of trees and stuff. That Texas rigged Ned head gets through the trees a lot better than the exposed hook one. And then here's the other rod I throw my Neds and stuff on, little finesse things on. This is Enigma Ipon series rod, 7-1 medium extra fast action. And uh, that's another rod that I like to throw them on. This one's got a little bit softer tip to it than the uh, Phenom does, but really, the key with this Ned rig and what we were doing was the weight of it. I was using a small head, just letting it drift with the current. And I had it weighted just enough. I think I was using um, one six, these might be one six ounce heads and just letting it drift real nicely with the current. If you have current in um, any kind of situation, like you're fishing a river or a creek and you have current, it's always great to use that current to your best advantage and use that with using the lure. Because if your lure is just moving along slowly enough with the current, that looks more natural to the fish. So they're more inclined to bite it as it's going by them or going past them or whatever, or if they see it, it comes into their view of sight at all. So that's one thing I like to do, especially when I'm in current. If I'm not in current, I gotta do most of the work with it and bounce it around a little bit and go real, real slow with it. Especially this time of year, you wanna go real, real slow. So I was just letting it drift nice and easy, just enough along with the bottom that the current kept it bouncing along a little bit, but enough to keep the fish's uh, attention. My favorite kind of Ned head is one like this. This is a little Wu Tungsten Ned head. Nice thing about them is they print the names, I mean the sizes of the weights on them so you don't ever have to guess, unlike Z-Man or anybody else. Um, and me personally, I'm not a big fan of the Z-Man ones because I've had too many of them break on me. But one thing Z-Man does make that Wu doesn't is the Texas rigged Ned head. And that looks like that right there. And I love these for fishing in trees and everything else with the Ned because Ned's just a great bait that a lot of fish will bite almost any time of the year. And it's a do nothing bait. So you can just throw it out there and let it sink to the bottom and maybe pop it once or twice. And you don't really have to do much with it to catch fish on it. And these little guys work real good in the trees. Here's a few of the baits that I was using. This one is a 
BB Sticko Crawl, Bass Pro Shops brand in PBJ color. That's one of the ones I caught fish on in the video. Here's another one that I was using that day. This is just the bigger size of that baby, of the Sticko Crawl. Caught a couple in this one, Texas rigged as well. And then two of my other favorite Ned rig baits are the Z-Man Finesse TRD. This is the one that I was using in the video. This is the green pumpkin orange crawl color. And then this is a Guggen Baits Ned. And this one has a little rattle in it, if you can hear there. And the reason why I like them is because they have that little rattle in them. It's a lot nicer than most of these other Ned heads out there. They don't have a rattle. It's just something a little bit extra to call in the fish, help them come to it. Um, one reason I really like them, I've caught a lot of fish on these too. So Guggen did a good job with them. But without any further ado, let's get into this video. And before I do, um, if you want to check out any of these baser products, I will link them all below so you can check them out as well. But without further ado, let's get into this video. Hope you guys like it. I'm gonna start out with a little jig. A little jackal jig. Jackal yeah, jackal tungsten jig. Those seem to do good in the cold water. We might actually have to work for it today, it seems like. Oh, that's the first bite I had. You got one. Finally, on a jig, he said. Oh, crankbait. Nice. Brian hooked up with one over there. Just a little guy, but first fish of the day. There he goes. On the old crank. <laughs> that fish just took my spinner bait. Other camera was off, I had to flip this one on real quick. Ryan finally hooked up with uh, another one Let's off go. the chatterbait. Oh, right out of his mouth. There we go. Yeah. Nice little 12, 13 incher. Ow. There he goes. Oh, he went, you're going the wrong way, pal. Dumb fish. You're really dumb, you know that? Well, I guess we're gonna have to pet. Hi, pet Billy. Billy Bass. <laughs> He'll eventually figure out how to get out of there. I don't think he wants to come here, come out of it, because we're here probably. his nose <laughs> literally resting on his nose he 
Take it. Come on, get out of there. There he goes, finally. Ding dong. Let this nice one go, guys. There she goes. finally comes off the uh, little bass pro shops sticker curl Look at that nice one. Decent sized fish. Let's let him go. Ned. Yeah, pretty much going really, really slow. Oh no, he got off. <laughs> Dude, that was a small one. Really? Yeah. No. Yes. That's the first one I've ever seen down here. Yes. That's freaking crazy. That's insane. I am too, but I wanted to see that. That sucks. Small man. Got him. Just an itty bitty guy. Little itty bitty guy. Let him go. So basically guys, all I'm doing with this net is just letting it drift real slow along with the current. I got it weighted just perfectly enough that it's drifting along real, real nice and slow with the current. And that's what we have to do to get these fish to bite today. It's real, real slow. Probably because it's so dang cold out today. 
It is the middle of January though in Pennsylvania, so can't expect much else. Just nice to be catching fish this late in the year, or this early in the year, I guess you could say. Well guys, that's going to conclude it for on this little creek trip today. Got most of mine on the Ned and uh, one on a Texas rigged uh, little Bass Pro Shop Sticko Crawl. Ryan, you got what? One on Chatterbait? One on Chatterbait, one on the Crank. Uh, and the rest on Ned? The rest on Ned. Yeah, the rest on Ned then. But, can't complain for being in the middle of, well, almost February now. So, can't complain, we caught a couple fish. So, a lot better than sitting at home and doing nothing. But, if you guys enjoyed this one, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Stay tuned for the next one. And make sure you comment on this video or like it. And make sure you subscribe to the channel to enter into the giveaway for a trip on your lake of choice with me. So, stay tuned till next Thursday.